What is happening, guys? This here, old Birdman 316 here. I'm sorry about my manners. I'm I'm excited about this guitar here. It showed up this $94 Donner DST 200. Notice it comes with the HSS. This thing is so fresh, it still has the plastic on the pickups. It's all original. I haven't done anything except for I turned the truss rod just a little bit, put just a little bit of a bow in the neck because it needed it. Because there was no, as a matter of fact, a little bit of a back bow. We had some buzzing going on. I just already tested it off camera. But it comes with a bag. I'm sure you've seen the thousands and thousands of reviews on YouTube. But might as well include mine too. Now this bag's not the thickest in the world. But it has a very important ingredient. Back here. You see that little foot right there? Some bags. And you know Donner is a great company. Their bags don't have that little foot on there. And for some reason... This strap button on the back, I don't know why. I've had a couple Donner bags develop a hole on the back side of the bag. That's not, it's not necessarily Donner's fault. They probably didn't know it would do that, I guess. I don't know, but they do. So in order to combat that, I put a washcloth. I fold up a washcloth long ways and I stuff it. Well, <laughs> I don't know if some of you are going with that. I stuff it right down the corner there in the very bottom side. And that way the guitar will lay in there and the strap button can poke on that washcloth all it wants to. It's not going to poke a hole through that bag. The bag that has a little foot on the end of it, a little uh, pad or whatever that thing is, a little foot rubber pad or whatever, whatever this thing is. They're not going to do that. But some bags, I'm not sure what other brands that come with bags has no little footy on there, but Mono Price does not have that footy on there, so you need to put a washcloth in there, fold it long ways, and fold it in half, and then fold it half again long ways, and put it on the corner. That way, this strap button will not be able to eat through your bag. There we go, guys. Tip of the day. Awesome. Okay. That guitar, this right here, came with that bag there, and it comes with a and a lightweight strap. It's, it's not a a huge, it's an inexpensive strap, and it comes with its own cable. The wiggle stick right there, and it screws into the block. It comes with a tool kit, which has your truss rod adjuster tool, and let's see the little bitty one right there, you can barely see it. It also has the saddle adjusting screw, where you can adjust your string height. Now, some people I'm not saying names, but some people say, yeah, this is the usual trash that comes with a guitar, but, I mean, it's like this. If you don't have anything at all, it's not really trash, guys. It's a necessity. And this will get you going in the right direction. It's a good start. It's not garbage, y'all. You guys, y'all. <laughs> I ain't said that in a while. But anyway, until you can do better, guys, that right there is just fine. Don't worry about other YouTube. It's garbage. It's trash. It's junk. Throw it across the room. Throw it in the trash. No, no, no. Don't do that. But if you do already have these items, like the cable and strap, don't just throw it away. Give it to someone who needs it or something, you know? Like if you sell a guitar, include it in the package. And, you know, give it a good home. Don't, don't throw it in the trash. I mean, you know, this is another tip of the day. Now, this here has the coil split oh there we go now like i told you it only cuts off one of those coils and i happen to check it out this coil here stays on that one gets cut off when you pull this out when you put it back in it gives you the whole humbucker it's got your five-way switch here Volume 2 Tones, typical Stratocaster style guitar setup. You notice I said style guitar, right? We don't want the big names upset. But take a look at this thing. 
I checked it. Didn't do didn't do any pantyhose check or anything, but the size of this neck, you can barely feel anything with those frets, even all the way up here on where the body is. Now there is right here. There is no roll. In other words, some fretboards are rolled on the ends, so it feels extra, extra uh, soupy, buttery, whatever they call it. But this is not going to hurt anything being square like this. But some people might want to roll that, you know, round that off a little bit. But hey, it's fine. It is fine. You can tell where on this uh, string right here. The first solid string, you can't really call it a G string because, what well, if you tune it differently? Right? The first solid string is bent just a little bit right here where I uh, put the wrench down. Now, I should have I I loosened that string a little bit. But if, if I'm going to change the strings anyway, once I do the stock sounder test, I did take these screws out of the scratch plate here. Took those two out and all the ones on this side here and looked under there with a flashlight. And I'm hoping that it's deep enough to put the pearl white scratch plate assembly with no issues. No bowing and stuff because I got a PV guitar that I have a round bottom switch like one of those good uh, oak switches. And just a, there's just a little bit of a bow right here. Just a tiny bit. Because where the switch bottoms out into the body. So I guess from now on when I do replace switches in shallow cutout body guitars. Like Strat style guitars. There's a company called Kaish, Kaish, Kush, Kaish, whatever. It's a flat bottom switch. Which is in my opinion just as good as an oak switch. Which will eliminate any issues from bottoming out on the bottom of the body causing it to scratch plate the bow right here just thought i'd throw that in as another tip as well all these tips and i'm not charging anything well i'm a rookie myself so i'm just waffling on here but anyway this is that 94 dollar donna donna Stratocaster style guitar DST 200 and the back cover is the same color tortoise shell like that and we will examine that a little bit further I have not messed with the saddles I have not it looks like it's sort of been attempted to be intonationized the guys I think these are real Bent steel sides, look at that. You see that? I think that's the real deal there. But from what I can tell when I played it a while ago, off camera just testing, making sure this thing actually sounds pretty good, guys. It's going to sound even better with that scratch plate that I put together. But anyway, guys, I hope everyone has a wonderful day, wonderful night. And I always remember. Keep rocking. Make the world a better place, guys. This is Birdman316. Sayonara. Guys, I forgot to show you something that came with the guitar. This was hanging on to the tuner. You can measure your string height, your action and stuff. Flip it over in case you want to learn some chords. Shows you some chords right there. One of those chords. Yeah, a friend of mine from New York says, You need to learn your chords. Well, there you go. I forgot to tell you guys, but there it is, guys. Seven pounds, 12 ounces. Or 3.51 kilograms.